this was me. I used to get distracted all the time by all these apps notifications, but just by using these focus modes on my iPhone, I could get more done during the day. This amazing feature on your iPhone has the capability to schedule your time during the day with different focus modes, so your iPhone would automatically display different widgets and apps related to your goals at different times of the day. Cool. So today I'm going to show you how I created these four focus modes for my workout, work, personal life and study and how I use them to increase my productivity. But first, I needed to have a plan for my entire day. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, let's do this. So at the first level, I plan my usual day. I ask myself, what are my goals and how am I going to spend my day to reach these goals and get things done? Then I broke my day into four parts and dedicated a time block to each one so I know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. You know, it's just like everything is in place yeah then I decluttered my iPhone and got rid of everything that I don't use or is a distraction in my life but I already decluttered my iPhone in my previous video and if you like you can watch here sure to watch so it what's next so as I said in order to create four focus modes first I needed to create four different home page screens and the idea is that each one of these screens should have included only the apps and widgets related to its focus mode. For example, for my workout routine, I long press on every app I need to have, like fitness or every app I need to receive notifications from, like my messages or calls or emails, and drag them one by one into a new page. So I created a page full of apps for my workout focus mode. After adding related apps, it's time to add widgets. So by long pressing on an empty area, I tapped on the plus button and scrolled down to find any widgets that would be valuable to use when I open my iPhone. For example, for this focus mode, I prefer to have a reminder widget, which seems like a reminder for everything I should remember doing in the gym. You can also add a smart stack, then long press on that and choose edit stack and add your favorite widgets to that. It's like a folder and after choosing the widgets you like, every time you can scroll this stack to see different widgets. So after that, I did the same process and created the other three customized home screens for work, personal, and study. Then I long pressed and tapped on the dots again to unhide these new pages because you don't wanna have these screens when you're not in any focus modes, right? Don't worry, I'm gonna unhide them in the next step and it's all worth it. At the next level, to create a focus mode, I opened the settings and tapped on the focus option. You would see that there are predefined focus modes that you can use, but I prefer to create my own focus modes. I tapped on the plus button and then on custom, I wanted to create my first focus mode for my workout routine. So I defined the name, profile picture, and color for this mode. On the next page, I was able to completely customize my focus mode. First, I only allowed notifications from a few chosen people when the workout focus is on. Others would be silenced, but I could see their notifications later in my control center. Then I hit next and choose to receive calls from allowed people only. I could have chosen another category. I did the same process for my apps notifications. Then I created customized lock screen that would be turned on in a specific focus mode. If you choose the first option, you can select the lock screen from your previous lock screens or create a new one. I created a new lock screen by tapping here. Then you have many options for creating the wallpaper, such as using a photo from your gallery or a weather widget, an emoji or a simple color. I chose this minimal wallpaper, like this simple color. Then, if you tap on any of these spaces, you can choose a different widget. My first two widgets are usually the date and clock, but you can choose different widgets from different styles. For the third option, I chose a fitness widget to track my movement during that period of time and a battery widget to check my phone's battery level. By tapping on the add button, you can choose to set the same wallpaper as your lock screen for your home screen, or you can customize it. If you choose to customize it, you can select a different color or picture for your home screen. I prefer to go with the same color. After creating a lock screen, I tap choose to select the related home screen from those that we created together in the beginning. Remember guys, for every focus mode, you should choose the related home screen that you made before. 
After setting the lock and home screen, you can turn on smart activation so that your iPhone automatically turns on this focus mode at relevant times during the day based on your signals like your behavior, location. However, I prefer to tap on add a schedule and set my own schedule based on a specific time period and my daily plan. With this setting, my iPhone would automatically turn on my workout focus mode 5 days a week between 7 to 9 am and it shows me only the valuable widgets and apps I need to have during that time period. The next thing you can do is choose a focus filter for this focus mode. When you tap on add filter, you'll see a few app filters like messages and for example if you turn on the filter by people list, you would only see the messages and conversations from people that you have allowed notifications from before. Or here, you can set a dark or light appearance when this focus mode is on. So guys, that was the process of creating a focus mode and it will be turned on automatically or you can turn it on or off from the control center. After that, I continued creating other focus modes for work, personal and study. Every time I chose a different lock screen and home screen that I had created in the beginning and then I followed the same process for creating the focus mode for each one. When I open my control center and tap on focus, it shows all of my modes and they will be turned on automatically and I can turn them off from here or in the settings. Seriously guys, whenever I use this focus mode on my iPhone, I have more self-control in my actions. I've been able to focus on important tasks during different parts of the day without being distracted. And that's it. And now, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and I will see you in my next video with more tips. And don't forget to watch this video for declaring your iPhone. See you soon!